366 Days with Wisdom by Venerable Master Xingyun. February 19. The best thing in the world is happiness. The kindest act in the world is to form ties of good causes and condition. The strongest power in the world is endurance. The most powerful determination in the world is willingness to do things wholeheartedly. Poverty and wealth are two opposite terms commonly used to describe the social position of people. To most people, poor people are not rich, while rich people are not poor. In reality, it is not entirely true. There are many poor rich people and there and rich poor people around us. Yan Hui was one of Confucius' disciples. Though he lived in a depleted place and had very simple food every day, he was always happy and contented. Can you say that he is a poor man? Mahakasa Yapa, one of Buddha's ten disciples, used to live by a mound by the river in the mountain. He had only one meal daily. His only possession was a piece of sangha rope and a begging bowl. However, his mind was calm and free from attachment. So, can you say he was a poor man? Let us look at the rich people of today. They live in modern buildings, have cars and many assistants. They are busy making money, focusing on the stock market every day. Can you say that they are rich? There are those who have lots of money and property, but they always complain of insufficient money and unwilling to spend a single cent on other people. Can you say that they are rich? From the perspective of Buddhism, there is no poor person in the world. Those who are busy, who are not busy and willing to help others are actually rich with abandoned time. Those who are good at speaking kind words and willing to press and encourage other people are actually rich with good language. Those who always, always show their smiles, happiness and respect for others are rich with a beautiful mind. One who helps and serves people energetically is also rich with dynamic energy. So those who are always greedy and are not satisfied will be for poor forever. Those who are happy to offer their services to others will be rich forever. Read, reflect and act. Those who are rich are not necessarily enjoying a rich life. Those who are poor are not necessarily having a poor life. Thus, spiritually, we cannot differentiate the poor from the rich in terms of money and material wealth. Please tune in same time tomorrow as we meet on air.